Hey over there, it's your lunchbox. I'm Julie Nightingale. And today we have landed right here at home. That's right, we are. We're right in front of our house. Um, Cause today is one of those days where it's not about the destination, but the journey itself. It's true. Okay. And uh, the destination though is going to be Gorham, New Hampshire. Where we're going to be spending a few days to do some fun activities in the White Mountain, but... This nutcase decided to get up at God knows what time in the morning. <laughs> God knows it was 4 a.m. we got up. It's 5 a.m. we're leaving the house. Uh, around, yeah. Yeah. It is uh, around a seven-hour drive to where we're going, so... We're going to make a few stops along the way. See some cool little things. Nothing like full things, but like little things. Like, oh, look at that sign. Oh, look at that thing over there. So we figured I'd uh, make a little video of the extras that we see along the day Ooh. on the way to the hotel and maybe show you some of our dinner if we get a good dinner. Who knows? But uh, Nightland probably is checking in nice and cozy in our hotel. Um, my mom's going with us on this adventure. She'll be around popping up as you see throughout the video. So uh, let's get in that car and step right up and go for that ride. in Connecticut, we have much farther driving to go. That way. It's gonna take a little break from the drive. I'll do that stretching. We made it to the first rest stop in Massachusetts. And hey. I'm saying, Joe, you stopping here, why? Use the bathroom, perhaps. Get coffee? Never. Yeah. They never have milk at the gas station where I get the coffee. No, we're stopping here for claw machines. Let's get inside and get play the claw machine. <laughs> Quoting the great Weird Al Yankovic, I want a new duck. Every time we come to the Massachusetts Turnpike rest stop, I play this claw machine. It's one of the ones I like. You play till you win for a rubber ducky. Ducky, ducky, ducky. It was one of the um, two times ago we were here. We were playing it and it wasn't registered I was winning. Oh no! See, but it didn't do that last time. And I kept playing and playing and playing. I won like 12 ducks. It was great. That story really quacks me up. Bum, 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 bum. You got a little diamond print one today. Oh, that is kind of cute. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Okay. You make bad time. Oh, so fun. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Polar Bear. A little cool thing. We're in New Hampshire now in a town called North Woodstock. Is this church called Rock of Ages. I don't know how I get up to the church. But if you see it's actually a church built on this rock. It's a very unusual spot for a church. I was going to try to get in, but I circled it. Can't figure out how. The Geneth Gate. Wow, that's cool. I'm not a religious man, but I'd go to a, a service here. Check it out. It has a steeple with a cross on the front. Can't really see it that great through the trees. Right there's the cross peeking through. Really cool. Slip sliding away. Slip sliding away. It's a cool water park here on this Route 3 going off. Leaving Lincoln. New Hampshire. Next, what I wanted to show you all is still on Route 3. As you're leaving the northern part of Lincoln, New Hampshire, there's this Indian Head Resort, which is really cool. It has this observation deck. But the reason it has all that is if you look, everyone heard of the old man that you see in the mountain here in New Hampshire. 
There's also Indian head rock profile, which I don't know if you're gonna see. We are in a little bit of a bright sun right now. If you look right there in that mountain, you see the Indian head. It's like the profile of him. It's a pretty cool natural phenomenon. It was formed by glaciers. Thousands of years ago, formed by glaciers, that Indian head rock. I wish I could have got up on that observation deck to really take a look at it here. Indian Head Resort and it is a cute little spot they also have take your photo ops in your the TP or near your totem pole but that is not why we're here Joy are you surprised that's not what we're here to see really oh I, I do like seeing that though it is really cool profile of Indian Rockhead profile of Indian Rockhead TP. is cool TP is cool totem pole is also cool but wait you see that sign? Wait till we get there and you'll see why we're really here. It's crazy. Seal of the state of New Hampshire, 1776. It's actually, think, here. This is the Betty and Barney Hill incident. So right here on this road, on September 19th, or the 20th, we're not sure. It might be the 19th to the 20th. In 1961, I guess we're in a, oh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh, no, no, they were from? Yeah. So, um, Betty and Barney Hill experienced a close encounter with the unidentified flying object and two hours of lost time while driving south on Route 3 near Lincoln, right over here. Wow. They filed an official Air Force Project Blue Book report okay. of a brightly lit cigar-shaped craft the next day, but were not public with their story until it was leaked in the Boston Traveler in 1965, four years later. This was the first widely reported UFO abduction reports in the United States. And it happened right here. The first ever UFO reported by Betty and Barney Hill experienced here September 19, 20, 1961. That is crazy. So just think, just driving down, family vacation. Oh, look at Indian Head Rock. This is a QTP. All of a sudden, cigar-shaped ship comes. Three hours of lost time. Two hours lost time, my mistake. Two hours lost time. The first people, Joy, that were ever abducted by aliens happened right here. All right, now I have to say, I am a skeptic about a lot of things. Now, aliens, I do believe in. Um, There's something out there. Yeah, we, we, the universe is massive. To think that we are the only life form in that is very selfish and very foolish and very stupid. Sharing is caring. I'm not gonna say that other extraterrestrial life has ever made it to Earth. That's, I can't say that or not. I wish it was true. It would be cool. That would be interesting. But uh, I do believe aliens exist somewhere out there. Maybe never made contact, and we might never make contact, but it is cool knowing that the first ever abduction report in the United States right happened pretty. right here. Joy, say it. X Files music. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know it. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> Betty and Barney Hill incident. That was close enough. The abduction site. Do you think that's actually why I think? I think it's a lie. What? They didn't build that tower to look at Indian Head Rock. They built it to make sure there's no more UFOs coming to take their guests here. Ooh. And the other thing we want to see about where. 16 years too late was still on New Hampshire's quarter. The other face, not the Indian head guy, but there's the old man face, old man of the mountain. And sadly, from ice and frost and all that over the years in 2003, his face sort of a, it needs a facelift, it fell apart. It is a far stretch to see, but right there on that edge, you can see the now far head, the only thing left of the old man of the mountain. So sad, the only thing left of the old man of the mountain, that little peak sticking off right there. 2003 came tumbling down. Still the most iconic symbol for New Hampshire though. I'm glad in 99 I was driving home from climbing Mount Washington. I got to see it once in my lifetime. But, eh, things come and things go. Que sera, sera joy. Joy, wake up, wake up. Wake up, Joy. 
Seriously. I realized we forgot to film our exit video for the day. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Seriously? Yeah, Joy, we, we filmed these cool things. We had a good dinner and went to bed, but we forgot to do this. So wake up. Seriously? Joy, look, camera. Oh, camera. hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, so we made it to Gorham, New Hampshire. Yeah. We had a great dinner at a spot called the Salt Pub. That's with two A's. S-A-A-L-T. Had a drink or two. One, one, two drinks. I had a good mojito joy head. A cucumber gin and tonic. A G&T gin and tonic. We ate this... Medi uh, Middle Eastern spreads with different breads like hummuses and and there was a carrot olive thing and, and stuff uh, Thai curry uh, shrimp Thai curry shrimp was our was our other appetizer so good so good we shared it with mom she she had some uh, margarita thing and some oh an old fashioned with Bullet rye, which was very good. It had candied orange. She's not here now because she's in her room and we're in, we're in our room. Mm. Sleeping, but I woke Joy up. Mm. Um, we My have burger a, was Yeah, Joy had a so burger. Good. It had like big jam and like... I had this noodle bowl. Garlic aioli. Yeah. And I had some truffle fri... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Herb, 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 herb fries, fries. with truffle ketchup Ooh. Yeah. I had this thing called Vietnamese noodles Cambodian Cambodian noodles and at first it just looked like spaghetti with <laughs> meat sauce it was very uh, deceiving it was very deceiving there was big cubes chunks of um, squash in it and well, that's what that was yeah mm. and it tasted curryish which was very good and then we had an olive oil cake filled with some jams ricotta. With, and ricotta and jams and then a basil, a basil ice, ice cream, cream. Oh. So. but it's a cool little town here in Gorm. we're walking back we were looking at uh bats. elementary school and the bats were flying all around diving into the chimney of the school and <laughs> it's a cool thing in the the bench in front of the high school has a little box and it says short story from high school students you open up and there's little photocopies of all these short stories the high school students read. Which so is like, really cute. Yeah, I got those. I read them, but we're in our hotel. It's oh, and then I played with... Uh, we played with some guy's Scooby dog, Doo. Scooby. But we're in our hotel room. Um, if you look... Cute. Wait, there's already stuff over everywhere. But <laughs> we made it home. There's, there's nothing <laughs> fancy about it. You got a little... Microwave, fridge doesn't work, TV, small, but we didn't come here for luxury. I came here to do cool stuff, make some fun videos for you all. And this just be our sleeping yeah, quarters. Yeah, it's just sleeping. So that was a good day. I hope you enjoyed seeing some roadside stuff as we were driving here, funny billboards or giant polar bears and the stuff around... Uh, North Woodstock and Lincoln and all what was left of the old man in the mm -hmm. mountain and stuff like that. But all, all I feel it was a good day. And I want a duck. Which always makes me happy. Oh yeah. So the first day of our drive to New Hampshire. Been there, done that. What joy? Nothing. Oh. And remember folks. I'm falling asleep. Uh, <laughs> safe travels, good, good eats, and, and live life. life. Until tomorrow, I'm going to be asleep. Yeah. And rubber ducky, you're the one. Okay. You make bedtime. Oh, so fun. <laughs>